How's it going guys? Jeremy here. Uh, what I'm kind of in the middle of today is trying to make this shop feel more like my own. I've said it once, I'm gonna say it over and over again, I can't believe how much work this is to set up a shop. I thought it would be a matter of moving in, unboxing, and then bam, just hit the ground running. Two things that kind of affect that. The first one being that the back of the shop I still don't have access to because my parents' house isn't ready and they have most of everything they own in the back there. So once that is available to me, I can set up my wood shop properly and in the interim, I just have it all on wheels and I've got this mobile wood shop that I can set up in this front shop. The second thing is that there's a sense where I want to maximize this entire space. I feel like I should be able to do more work, bigger work, all kinds of different work. When you have a huge space, it is unbelievable the opportunity that that presents. And so I'll be working and I'm doing this and that, but I always see things that, oh, I should adjust this or I need to tweak this and tweak that. And this was literally a bare bones, bare walled shop when I moved into it. They just put brand new tin on it last summer. And sometimes I almost wonder if it's easier to move into an existing shop because you kind of just simulate, you kind of just morph into the existing layout. Whereas this had no structure. There was no, nothing like that. And the other thing that complicates it, so I guess this might be the third thing, is that there's a lot of stuff in here that's my dad's that I'm pretty sure he'll never use. And I'm okay with just getting rid of it, but not, in, not until they're gone. Let me show you what I mean. And this is just one example. There's a lot of stuff like this. This here is a little utility closet. And inside, what's all this? Junk. It's junk, junk, junk. I'm sure my dad won't ever use this stuff. And this would be a really great space for gardening and cools. What our plan is, is, is maybe build like a little workbench, just a small one with some cupboards and shelves underneath it. And then hang all of our gardening implements on that wall and on this wall. And if you do all those things, like what a wonderful place. It's like, as soon as you come into the shop, it's out of the elements and all gardening things, boom, one spot. Another task we have to take care of is hooking up the water heater because this thing has in-floor heating and then the hot water tank and then hook up the water to the bathroom, which is that room there. Also, the bathroom needs to be kind of tweaked. Toilet installed and then a checker plate cabinet there. You need to build a frame, set that on, put the sink in, hook up the plumbing. Maybe get a proper mirror. But after all that's done, we've got a bathroom with running water. This area here is kind of like a mimic of my garage and I'm happy with this space. You know, I've got all my workbenches along that side, which is what I had in my garage, that white bench there, uh, this bench, this cabinet here, all very reminiscent of my shop with the benefit of a nice four by eight work table. And this is the space I use the most in here. It's just so nice. Like, I still need some organization. I need some battery organization some cordless tool organization, probably come up with something custom to go right up in there. Now the grinding room needs a little bit of work. We've got, uh, it needs some type of a shelf or a workbench right here. Because when you're working on the grinders, you know, you always have something like, okay, if I'm adjusting the angle, you know, precisely or place for the wrenches and, and this and that. It's nice to have that right beside the machine instead of currently it's on this table here. This place is good. I've been doing a lot of grinding, hauling off some serious amounts of material. And I've actually come up with a new grinding jig thing that I've got to make one more version of it. And I've never seen it done before. And if it works out, I'm going to be stoked about that. But this is another area. So this I've kind of, I've allowed my boys to set up shop here. They've got their dirt bikes. They've got their toolboxes. <laughs> but they, they don't necessarily put things away properly and neither do I. I've got all this stuff for my machine tools and my milling machine. You know, my old shop, I had that nice wall behind it and shelving in there and I'm kind of limited because this stuff is here. I'm gonna try and put something there. But even as such, I don't know if this is the greatest location for the milling machine. This is just kind of where I put it for now. That's like the only window on a wall in the shop and uh, there's trees there. So you can't even really see what's going on outside. I would have to love to put a whole bunch of windows in this shop. It would be kind of nice. But, and then another big thing I've got to work on is all this stuff up there. There is so much garbage up there, stuff that I don't need. I just need to get rid of it. There's my three phase converter so 220 to three phase to run my lathe all together i mean it's it's coming it's a wildly functional shop i'm able to do all the things in here that i want but i see ways that it could be improved 
and I'm just kind of waiting for the time to make those improvements. So what I've decided to do, I'm gonna try to take one day a week for shop stuff. That could be new workbenches, it could be welding more galvanized pegboard to that back steel plate, that could be hanging up photographs, that could be selling crap or taking stuff to the dump. One day a week so I can set this place up and just, man, this weird limbo state. Like, having this space is just amazing, but when it's not set up, it irks me inside. Like it's also super frustrating, so. And I don't wanna sound like I'm complaining because it's been really good. The things have been fantastic and I love this space, but I thought I would be like in full knife production mode by now. I thought I'd be making a whole bunch of knife videos by now. And other things have kept us busy, like the Etsy stuff. And it's just, I'm just shocked how long this takes. But it's good. Now, I think the biggest thing about this process for me is that patience. It's, it's teaching me patience. You know, you can't really expect to move into a shop and just have all of your entire possessions and tools set up and ready to go overnight. So that's the lesson that hopefully I'm learning. I took this photograph. I took this picture in Kodiak, Alaska, as well as that one. Hulu. This is a photograph my wife took on film. Yeah, we gotta get him put up there. Oh! There's some good wall art. Oh, these suckers made it fairly well. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna run some boards this way and measure the exact location so I can put a couple like this so I can hang my axes. So let's get that set up. And the other part of it is too, is kind of remembering that this is a journey. Uh, in a sense, I am building a dream shop. So you wanna enjoy the ride. You wanna enjoy the process. We're building a dream here. I think I just need to keep that in mind. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Cheers.